Bo London, London, Bo London, 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 Bo London, Bo London. Bo is an area of East London within the London borough of Tower Hamlets. It is primarily a built up and mostly residential area and is 4.6 miles 7.4 km east of Charing Cross. It was in the traditional county of Middlesex but became part of the County of London following the passing of the Local Government Act 1888. Bow is an abbreviation of the medieval name Strafford at Bow, in which Bow refers to the bowed bridge built here in the early 12th century. Bow contains parts of both Victoria Park and the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. Old Ford and Fish Island are localities within Bow, but Bromley by Bow historically and officially just Bromley immediately to the south is a separate district. These distinctions have their roots in historic parish boundaries. Bow underwent extensive urban regeneration including the replacement or improvement of council homes with the impetus given by the staging of the 2012 Olympic Games at nearby Stratford. History Bow formed a part of the medieval parish of Stepney until becoming an independent parish in 1719. The parish vestry then undertook this responsibility until a rising population created the need for the Poplar Board of Works in 1855. This was superseded by the Metropolitan Borough of Poplar in 1900 until it was absorbed into the London Borough of Tower Hamlets in 1965. The council offices in Poplar High Street became Poplar Town Hall on the formation of the Metropolitan Borough of Poplar in 1900. Bridges Stratford was first recorded as a settlement in 1177, the name derived from its Old English meaning of paved way to a ford. The ford originally lay on a pre-Roman trackway at Old Ford about 600 meters 0.4 mi to the north, but when the Romans decided on Colchester as the initial capital for their occupation, the road was upgraded to run from the area of London Bridge as one of the first paved Roman roads in Britain. The paved way is likely to refer to the presence of a stone causeway across the marshes which formed a part of the crossing. In 1110 Matilda, wife of Henry I, reputedly took a tumble at the ford on her way to Barking Abbey and ordered a distinctively bow-shaped, three-arched bridge to be built over the River Lee the like of which had not been seen before. The area became known variously as Stratford of the Bow, Stratford of the Bow, Stratford the Bow, Stratford. Land and Abbey Mill were given to Barking Abbey for maintenance of the bridge, who also maintained a chapel on the bridge dedicated to St. Catherine, occupied until the 15th century by a hermit. This endowment was later administered by Stratford Langthorne Abbey. By 1549, this route had become known as the King's Way. Responsibility for maintenance of the bridge was always in dispute, no more so than with the dissolution of the monasteries, when local landowners who had taken over the abbey lands were found responsible. The bridge was widened in 1741, and tolls were levied to defray the expense, but litigation over maintenance lasted until 1834, when the bridge needed to be rebuilt and landowners agreed to pay half of the cost, with Essex and Middlesex sharing the other. The bridge was again replaced in 1834 by the Middlesex and Essex Turnpike Trust, and in 1866 West, Ham took responsibility for its upkeep and that of the causeway and smaller bridges that continued the route across the Lee. In 1967, that bridge was replaced by a new modern bridge by the Greater London Council, who also installed a two-lane flyover above it designed by Andre T. Chernovin, son of Gilag Escapi Vladimir V. T. Chernovin, spanning the Blackwall Tunnel Approach Road, the Traffic Interchange, the River Lee, and some of the Bow Back Rivers. This has since been expanded to a four-lane road. Religious Life there was a nearby Benedictine nunnery from the Norman era onwards, known as St. Leonard's Priory, and immortalized in Chaucer's description of the nun priors in the general prologue to his Canterbury Tales. However, Bow itself was still an isolated hamlet by the early 14th century, often cut off from its parish church of St. Dunstan's, Stepney by flooding. In 1311 permission was granted to build St. Mary's Church, 
bow as a chapel of ease to allow the residents a local place of worship. The land was granted by Edward Roman III on the King's Highway, thus beginning a tradition of island church building. Bow was made an Anglican parish of its own in 1719, with St. Mary's as its parish church. The new parish included the old Ford area, which has also been known as North Bow. The Anglican parish churches of St. Barnabas Bethnal Green and St. Paul's, Old Ford are in the Bow West and Bow East wards respectively. The late 19th century and early 20th century also saw three Roman Catholic churches built for the area Church of Our Lady and St. Catherine of Siena, 1870, Church of the Holy Name and Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, 1894, and the Guardian Angels Church, 1903. Goose Fair Fairfield Road commemorates the Green Goose Fair, held there on the Thursday after Pentecost. A green goose was a young or midsummer goose, and a slang term for a cuckold or a low woman. In 1630, John Taylor, a poet, wrote at Bow, the Thursday after Pentecost, there is a fair of green geese ready rost, where, as a goose is ever dog cheap there, the sauce is over somewhat sharp and dear. At taking advantage of the double entendre, and continuing with other verses describing the drunken rowdy behavior of the crowds. By the mid-nineteenth century, the authorities had had enough and the fair was suppressed. Bow Porcelain During the seventeenth century, Bow and the Essex Bank became a center for the slaughter and butchery of cattle for the city market. Additionally, the piggery which used the mash residue produced by the gin mills at three mills meant a ready supply of animal bones, and local entrepreneurs Thomas Fry and Edward Halen developed a means to mix this with clay and create a form of fine porcelain, said to rival the best from abroad, known as Bow Porcelain. In November 1753, in R.C.'s Birmingham Gazette, the following advertisement appeared, this is to give notice to all painters in the blue and white potting way and enamelers on chinaware that by applying at the counting house at the china house near bow they may meet with employment and proper encouragement according to their merit likewise painters brought up in the snuff box way japanning fan painting and c may have an opportunity of trial wherein if they succeed they shall have due encouragement n b at the same house, a person is wanted who can model small figures in clay neatly. The Bow China works prospered, employing some 300 artists and hands, until about 1770, when one of its founders died. By 1776, all of its molds and implements were transferred to a manufacturer in Derby. In 1867, during drainage operations at the match factory of Bell and Black at Bell Road, St. Leonard's Street, the foundations of one of the kilns were discovered asterisk, with a large quantity of wasters and fragments of broken pottery. The houses close by were then called China Row, but now lie beneath modern housing. Chemical analysis of the firing remains showed them to contain high quantities of bone ash, predating the claim of Josiah Spode to have invented the bone china process. More recent investigations of documentary and archaeological evidence suggests the concern was to the north of the high street and across the river. 19th century premise 1837 Grove Hall Private Lunatic Asylum was established on the plot in 1820. This establishment primarily catered for ex servicemen and was featured in Charles Dickens' novel Nicholas Nicklevy, 1839. It was replaced after it was shut and turned into Grove Hall Park was opened in 1909 following its purchase by the local authority in an auction in 1906. In 1878 it was the largest asylum in London with capacity for 443 inmates. Victorian period 1837 to 1901 In 1843 the engineer William Bridges Adams founded the Fairfield Locomotive Works, where he specialized in light engines, steam rail cars or rail motors, and inspection trolleys, including the Fairfield Steam Carriage for the Bristol and Exeter Railway and the Enfield for the Eastern Counties Railway. The business failed and the works closed circa 1872, 
later becoming the factory of Bryant and May. Bow was the headquarters of the North London Railway, which opened its locomotive and carriage workshops in 1853. There were two stations, Old Ford and Bow. During World War II, the North London Railway branch from Dalston to Poplar through Bow was so badly damaged that it was abandoned. Bow Station opened in 1850 and was rebuilt in 1870 in a grand style, designed by Edwin Henry Horn and featuring a concert hall that was 100 ft long 30 m and 40 ft wide 12 m. This became the Bow and Bromley Institute, then in 1887 the East London Technical College and a Salvation Army Hall in 1911. From the 1930s it was used as the Embassy Billiard Hall and after the war became the Bow Palais but was demolished in 1956 after a fire. The London E-Postcode area was formed in 1866, with the E3 subdivision in 1917. A statue of William York Gladstone stands outside Bow Church. It was donated in 1882 by Theodore H. Bryant, part owner of the Bryant and May Match Factory. Women's Rights, the Match Girls' Strike, and Emmeline Pankhurst of the Suffragettes. In 1888, the Match Girls' strike occurred at the Bryant and May Match Factory in Fairfield Road. This was a forerunner of the suffragette movement fight for women's rights and also the trade union movement. The factory was rebuilt in 1911, and the brick entrance includes a depiction of Noah's Ark and the word security used as a trademark on the matchboxes. Match production ceased in 1979, and the building is now private apartments known as the Bow Quarter. Emmeline Pankhurst began the Women's Social and Political Union W. Spoo in 1903 with her daughters Chris Stable and Sylvia. Sylvia became increasingly disillusioned with the suffragette movement's inability to engage with the needs of working-class women like the Match Girls. Sylvia formed a breakaway movement, the East London Federation of Suffragettes, and based at 198 Bow Road, by the church in a baker's shop. This was emblazoned with votes for women in large gold letters and opened in October 1912. The local member of parliament, George Lansbury, resigned his seat to stand on a platform of women's enfranchisement. Sylvia supported him and Bow Road became the campaign office, culminating in a huge rally in nearby Victoria Park, but Lansbury was narrowly defeated and support for the project in the East End was withdrawn. Sylvia refocused her efforts from Bow, and with the outbreak of World War I began a nursery, clinic, and cost-price canteen for the poor at the bakery. A paper, The Women's Dreadnought, was published to bring her campaign to a wider audience. At the close of war, the Representation of the People Amendment Act 1918 gave limited voting rights to property-owning women over the age of 30, and equal rights were finally achieved ten years later. Pankhurst spent 12 years in Bow fighting for women's rights. She risked constant arrest and spent a lot of time in Holloway prison, often on hunger strike. She finally achieved her aim and along the way had alleviated some of the poverty and misery and improved social conditions for all in the East End. 20th century 1901 to 1999 a new town hall was built in the mid-minus 1930s at the corner of Bow Road and Fairfield Road, now in a dilapidated condition and used as commercial offices. It contains the Poplar Assembly Rooms, now no longer used. The Builders by sculptor David Evans is a frieze on the face of the building, unveiled by Lansbury on 10 December 1938, the Portland stone panels commemorate the trades constructing the town hall and symbolize the borough's relationship with the River Thames and the youth of Poplar. A memorial to George Lansbury, 1859-1940, stands on the corner of Bow Road and Harley Grove, near 39 Bow Road, which was his family home in the constituency until it was destroyed in the Blitz. It describes him as a great servant of the people. Lansbury was twice mayor of Poplar and MP for Bromley and Bow. In 1921, he led the Poplar Rates Rebellion. His daughter-in-law, Minnie Lansbury, was one of the 30 Poplar councillors sent to prison 
and died six weeks after leaving prison. A memorial clock to her is over a row of shops on Bow Road, near the junction with Alfred Street. Ownership of Bow Road Railway Station passed from British Rail to the London Transport Executive in 1950. The station building was placed as a Grade Roman II listed building on 27 September 1973. The Metropolitan Borough of Poplar was absorbed along with the boroughs of Stepney and Poplar into the London Borough of Tower Hamlets in 1965 as part of the newly formed Greater London. Victoria Park became known for its open-air music festivals, often linked with a political cause in the 1970s-80s. In 1978, Rock Against Racism organized a protest event against growth of far-right organizations, such as the National Front. The concert was played by The Clash, Steel Pulse, X Race X, The Ruts, Shen 69, Generation X, and the Tom Robinson Band. In 1975, the Baroness Burdett Couch drinking fountain was given Grade Roman II asterisk listed status by Historic England. Bromley Public Hall, the old vestry hall for St. Leonard's Parish, can be seen on the south side of Bow Road, near the DLR station. It continues in use for registrations of births and marriages. In 1986, the Greater London Council transferred responsibility for the park to the London Borough of Tower Hamlets and the London Borough of Hackney through a joint management board. Since 1994, Tower Hamlets has run the park alone. Between 1986 and 1992, the name bowl applied to one of seven neighborhoods to whom power was devolved from the council. This resulted in replacement of much of the street signage. Bow West and Bow East are two wards formed in 2002 that incorporate Old Ford and the eastern end of Globe Town to Grove Road, parts of which used to comprise Mile End New Town, north of the Mile End Road. Bow lost its territory south of the Mile End Road. In 1991, St. Paul's Old Ford was closed due to poor maintenance and safety concerns in the years after the war. The parochial church council and local people were determined to see that the church remained open and, in fact, was improved. The A New Heart for Bow project was born. More than three million pounds was raised from more than a dozen sources and philanthropies. Matthew Lloyd Architects was appointed to refurbish the building and enable it to serve the wider community as well as the church. Work began in March 2003 and ended over a year later in May 2004. Channel 4's The Big Breakfast was broadcast live from a former lockkeeper's cottages located on Fish Island in Old Ford from 28 September 1992 until 29 March 2002. Rachel Whiteread's temporary public sculpture house was created on Grove Road, being completed on 25 October 1993 and demolished 11 weeks later, on 11 January 1994. The work won her the Turner Prize and Kay Foundation Art Award in November 1993. Bow Arts was set up in 1994 by Marcel Beated and Mark Schimmel, the owner of the then new premises. It became an artist studio supporting over 100 working artists. In 1995, the Trust became a registered arts and education charity. In 1996, after an Arts Council England grant, they were able to build the Nunnery Gallery on Bow Road. 21st century from 2000. Geography, geography, geography. Bo has not been an administrative unit for nearly 100 years, and this makes definitions of the extent of the area difficult. There are two principal influences on perceptions of the extent of Bo, the historic hamlet, which became an ancient parish, and the Athri postal area. The former common known as Bo Common lay far to the south of either of these defined areas, just beyond the southern boundary of the Bromley by Bo area. Ancient Parish Bow was originally a hamlet of the ancient parish of Stepney. In this context, hamlet refers to a district, a subdivision of a parish with delegated responsibilities, rather than a small village. It is not clear when the hamlet of Bow was established. Bow became an independent parish when the pre-existing hamlet separated from Stepney in 1719, 
to become a late-formed ancient parish, the area being a basis for both civil and ecclesiastical administration. The boundaries of the hamlet, which later became the parish, are the only formally defined boundaries the area has had. The new parish took the hamlet's boundaries in this way it inherited Stepney's boundaries with Hackney to the north and the Stratford area of the parish of West Ham over the Lee to the east. The boundary with Bromley by Bow to the south ran along Bow Road, though it arced a little to the south near Bow Church and Bow Bridge. The western boundary, with what remained of Stepney, ran in the vicinity of Coburn, Lyle and Driffield Roads, with further fission of the parish meaning the areas to the west become the independent parishes of Bethnal Green and Mile and Old Town. In 1900 Bow merged into the metropolitan borough of Poplar, together with Poplar and Bromley by Bow. The new borough preserved the identities of the constituent areas through the names and boundaries of its electoral wards. The civil parish of Bow continued to operate until the abolition of the poor law in 1930, though London's civil parishes weren't formally abolished until the creation of the modern London boroughs in 1965. The metropolitan boroughs of Poplar, Stepney, and Bethnal Green united to form the London borough of Tower Hamlets in 1965, meaning that Bow came to form the northeast part of the new borough. A three postal area. Bow is closely associated with the F3 postcode area, formed in 1917, but postcode areas were never intended to define districts. F3 excludes parts of the Bow Parish area north of the Hertford Union Canal and extends far to the south of Bow Road to include most of Bromley, by Bow as far south as the Limehouse Cut. It reaches as far west as the Regent's Canal to take in parts of Bethnal Green and Mile End, and stretches over the Lee to take in Three Mills and the Twelve Trees Business Park in the old parish of West Ham. Governance and Representation Bow is the northeast part of the London borough of Tower Hamlets. For planning policy purposes, a neighborhood plan is being prepared for an area referred to as Roman Road Bow. This area affected includes much of Bow and part of Mile End. The neighborhood plan is intended to produce locally specific policies to complement the Tower Hamlet's local plan. Roman Road Bow Neighborhood Plan has been initiated by Roman Road Trust, who are a community development organization, which is developing a community-led vision for a flourishing high street and community in the area. The steering committee for the Roman Road Bow Neighborhood Plan led the Neighborhood Forum, who currently meets every three weeks. Since 2010, Rushnara Ali of the Labour Party is the local MP for the Bethnal Green and Bow constituency. Community Roman Road Community Land Trust is an initiative that seeks to protect the diverse community by providing truly affordable housing and aims to create an alternative solution for residents who are being forced out of the A. Roman Road LDN is a hyperlocal magazine covering Bow as well as Old Ford and Globe Town and launched as a full-time publication in 2018. In 2019, the magazine had 2,500 subscribers. The Bow Arts Trust operates a low-cost accommodation scheme throughout the area. This provides housing for artists who have an interest in community work. Ability Bow is a specialized gym for those with disabilities or long-term health conditions and offers one-to-one -one exercise sessions. It has specialist gym equipment with tailored fitness programs for each member. Services A delivery office called the Bow Delivery Office is located in North Bow on Tredegar Road, with mail services provided by Royal Mail. Bow is in the Bow District, but also recently partly in the Olympic Park District at 20. Since the closure of the East London Mail Centre in 2012, all inward mail for the e-postcode area is now sorted at Romford Mail Center. The Bow PDSA Pet Hospital is located on Malmesbury Road. Education St. Agnes, Chicehale, Olga and Malmesbury Primary Schools are located in Bow, as is Central Foundation Girls School on Bow Road. Cherry Trees School is a specialist primary school located at Campbell Road in Bow. Transport Rail Lull. 
Bow is connected to the London Underground at Bow Road Tube Station on the District and Hammersmith and City lines, as well as Mile End Tube Station on the Central, District and Hammersmith and City lines, and also the Docklands Light Railway Stratford Canary Wharf line at Bow Church DLR Station and Devons Road DLR Station. Buses London Buses Routes 8, 25, 108, 205, 276, 339 Roads The A11 Bow Road passes east-west in South Bow, linking the area to Aldgate in the west and Stratford in the east. At Stratford, the road meets the A12 where eastbound traffic can continue towards Ilford, the Melvin for Stansted Airport and destinations in Essex. Bow is part of the council-controlled parking zone and is covered by Zone B and includes all mini zones Bone slash 2 slash 3 within the district boundaries. Additionally, Saturday controls are enforced in North Bow. Cycling Bow is on London-wide and national and cycle networks. Public cycling infrastructure in the locale is provided by both Transport for London TfL and the London Borough of Tower Hamlets. Routes include National Cycle Route 1 and CR1 a long-distance leisure cycle route between Dover, Kent and the Shetland Islands, Scotland and forms part of the National Cycle Network. The route passes through Victoria Park and Mile End Park on traffic-free shared-use paths. In North London, the route runs from Canary Wharf to Enfield Lock. Cycle Superhighway 2 CS2 a commuter cycling route from Aldgate in the city to Stratford in the east. The route runs signposted, unbroken and traffic-free on cycle track for the majority of the route. The route follows Bow Road through Bow, and the track is colored blue. Cycleway between Hackney and the Isle of Dogs, a proposed commuter cycle route made in 2019. Industry, industry. Bow Power Station. Bow Power Station was a major 51, 0.5 MW electricity generating station located in Marshgate Street, Bow. It was constructed by the Charing Cross and Strand Electricity Supply Corporation, which had obtained legal powers in 1899 to supply electricity to the City of London in competition with the City of London Electri. It was the first three-phase generating plant in the UK when it opened in 1902. The station transmitted electricity at 10,000 V through underground cables through the districts of Poplar, Mile End and Whitechapel to substations in the city and West End. A characteristic of the station were the 16 circular steel cooling towers, 30 FD 11 M in diameter, and 85 FD 26 M high. Coal was delivered to the power station along the River Lee and its channels. In 1925 Bow, became part of the London Power Company LPC. The LPC wished to consolidate electricity generation in a small number of high-output stations including Bow. The other stations were Dipped Ford Power Station started in 1925 and completed in 1929, and Battersea Power Station started in 1929 and completed in 1934. Bow Power Station was rebuilt and re-equipped several times. Upon nationalization of the electricity industry, in 1948 ownership of Bow Power Station was transferred to the British Electricity Authority 1948-55, and finally to the Central Electricity Generating Board 1958-69. Bow Power Station closed in 1969 and was subsequently demolished. Notable People The following people have lived, or currently live or had an education in Bow, Actors and Entertainers Donald Crisp, 1882-1974 award-winning actor, born in Bow. Graham Norton, comedian and television presenter, lives in Bow, in Bow. Danny Wallace, filmmaker, comedian, writer, actor, and presenter of radio and television, lives in Bow. Roger Allen, actor known for ITV Endeavor, born in Bow. Authors Rosa Nauchet Carey, 1840 1909 children's novelist, born in Stratford-le-Bow. Kaya Abdullah, author, born in Mile End, 
went to school in Bow. Musicians, musicians, musicians. Amy Winehouse, 1983 to 2011, jazz singer songwriter, had a flat in Bow. Dizzy Rascal, grime MC from Bow. Tinchy Strider, grime MC from Bow. Wiley Grime MC, pioneer and record producer from Bo. Sports people. Ashley Cole, footballer, played for Arsenal's Invincibles, born in Stepney, attended Bo Boys School in Bo. Ledley King, former footballer, defender for Tottenham Hotspur, born in Bo. Others. John Robertson, 1816 to 1891, Premier of New South Wales, Australia. On five occasions between 1881 and 1886, born in Bow. Clara Grant, 1867 to 1949, educational pioneer and social reformer, lived and worked in Bow, in Bow, 